Good morning, good afternoon to everybody here. Welcome to the 2021-22 Kia NBA Most Valuable Player Award Virtual Press Conference. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to Russell Lager, Vice President of Marketing for Kia America. Good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, over the past 15 seasons, Kia has proudly been the official automotive partner of the NBA. Why? Simply because we love basketball as much as you do. And during our time together, both the league and the Kia brand have grown at incredible rates. At, at Kia, we have be, always believed in the importance of improving our game. And we are making a full court press towards electrification with the launch of the all new electric Kia EV6. And by investing over $25 billion to deliver 11 all new all electric vehicles globally over the next five years. Since 1956, the NBA Most Valuable Player Award recognizes the season's gold standard performance and highlights the player's positive impact on team chemistry as much as improving odds for success. Traits that could also be used to describe Kia as recognized and award-winning leader in electrification, performance and design. But today, we celebrate the talent found in the NBA and are proud to announce the next winner of a Kia Performance Award. It's my honor to present Nikola Jokic, of the Denver Nuggets with the 2021-2022 Kia NBA Most Valuable Player of the Year Award. This is Nikola's second win in a row, which puts him in a very special class, shared with legends like Will Chamberlain, Michael Jordan, LeBron James, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And only Oscar Robinson and Magic Johnson recorded more triple doubles in their first 500 games in the league. The Joker is no joke, and at age 27, we expect even more greatness to come. Congratulations, Nicola. Thank you. Thank you, Nicola I, and Russell. I will now turn it over to Cody for questions and answers from the media. Cody. Hey, Nicola. Thanks, Mark. We'll get started with Mike Singer with the Denver Post. Hey, Nicola, good to see you and congratulations. Uh, you, you're typically a pretty private person, uh, but when you came into the horse stable and you saw Tim, Ogie, Josh, Coach, and Nick, you know, why did you get so emotional? I mean, it's a, they surprised me. I didn't expect that, of course. I mean, that's, that's, why, that's why I was emotional. You know, they came all the way uh, to my hometown. And uh, I mean, it's a long, it's a long flight just to come here, come here for one day. Actually, not a six hours. I think it's a, it's a just me that they really appreciate what I'm doing and they really love me. So, I mean, um, it, it was a, it was a completely unexpected. I was I was driving my horses, so I, they caught me off guard. Next, we we'll go to Pat Graham, Associated Press. <clears throat> hey, Nicola, congratulations. Um, I guess this means a lot, I know, for you and the Nuggets, but uh, how much does this mean for your country and, and inspiring you know, like kids around the world? You know, you can be drafted wherever, you can be found wherever, and you can do this. I mean, to be honest, I don't know did I inspire. I mean, I don't know. I'm just, uh, I never thought about that. Uh, but uh, I think, I think I I put an example that you can do whatever you want to do, you know, if you, if you work hard or if, if you try hard. So, I mean, I think uh, it's not a bad person to look up, you know. Um, I was the 41st pick, came here one year after they drafted me. So I had all the stories, all the stories. So not an, I think not a bad person to, to look up for. Scott Hastings, Altitude TV. Nicola, congratulations. Uh, when you look at this award and what it means, and now going forward, you said in the past that, that it's a great honor and everything, but you want to win an NBA championship. With that being said, how important for you and your role as the leader on this team to take this award and, and help grow this franchise called the I mean, Denver Nuggets? Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I think – when you start playing basketball, you want to win something uh, as, a, as a group, as a team. So I think it's uh, just a uh, normal thinking, you know. So 
all those individual award, all those individuals award is um, something that come and go like people are picking picking who is going to win it and the championship is you winning it so that's the, that's the probably the, the best way of of to describe how I'm thinking so, so you you win something or and MVPs and all those uh, individual awards they basically give to you you know so I mean, but we have a we have a great group group of guys, so hopefully hopefully we're gonna we're gonna be uh, better in be, better in the next years. Vinny Benedetto, Denver Gazette. Hey Nicola, congratulations! We saw the uh, group wearing shirts that said, uh, "Some people want to see you fail, disappoint them." Mm -hmm. uh, what's the story there? I mean, that, that's Felipe. That, that's Felipe. And, just a second. <laughs> Just a second. <laughs> oh my God! I mean, uh, that that's uh, Philip is our designer of of those of those shirts. Uh, even the, even the first one he made it uh, last year. So uh, and this one is actually pretty simple. There is a, just a just a one sentence that describes everything. So. I mean, I think that that's something in, in the whole global world. People like to see people fail, and uh, you you can just disappoint them. So I really love love the love the quote or the sentence. David Trinolato, La Gazeta della Sport. Who who you only one that I don't hear? And Nicola, congratulations for for the MVP. Um, I want I want to. I want you to talk about your passion for horses. Um, I know it's pretty important for you, and they were even more important in basketball. What, what, what's there for you? What what is like for you to have this passion? I mean, that's that's my stress relief. That's something that I love to do, and I, I, I'm even when I'm even when I'm uh, playing in, in the season, I'm following fo following couple guys that I met uh, in, in Italy, in, in, in USA, a um, couple guys in, in Hungary, and of course my horses. Uh, so I think that's something that uh, you can give, go away from basketball. And it, uh, for me, it works really well because it keeps me calm and keeps me uh, really, really relaxed. And I, I really love to do that uh, in my free time. And I think that's what I'm gonna do when I'm finishing, uh, when I finish my career. Hey, Nicola, um, you said if you were to win, you were going to celebrate with some music and beer. Uh, how'd you celebrate yesterday? With some music and some beer. <laughs> pretty, pretty simple. And a little bit of rakia, but Nick can tell you stories about that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Next we're gonna Ivan Ivan Ogjanović, Televizija Arena Sport. Evo, možemo na našem jeziku neko pitanje da čujemo, da ti čestitam prvo ime ne, svih nas sa Arene, koje prenosimo naravno NBA čitave sezone i to sve znaš, da ti da te ne djevim sa time. Teo sam da ti pitam šta misliš kako će ovo tvoje priznanje uticati na neku budućnost košake u Srbiji, u Srbiji znači za nekih 10-20 godina. Da li misliš da će uticati na klince sada da se malo aktiviraju, da se više bave košakom, da se više igra na terenima, na polju. Da li će se ova tvoja priznanja u Srbiji videti kroz nekih 10-20 godina uh, kroz to? I ako možeš nešto malo o sledećoj sezoni, što misliš, da li ćete povratkom Portera i Marija nastaviti kao što je bilo i ranije, odnosno da li možda ovo priznanje sledeće godine zameniš za eventualno neko priznanje MVP-a finala? Ajde sada možda da, da tako nešto pitao. Da, pa ovaj... Pa ne znam koliko će uticati iskreno, pošto ovaj... Ne znam da li, ovaj, da, li, da li mi sportisti možemo toliko jako puno da utičemo, pošto oni nas samo vide nekoliko minuta na terenu ili nekoliko pola sata dok igramo. Tako? I ne znam da li baš koliko ljudi, to ne ljudi nego dece prate ovaj, tako puno sport, ali možda to kad, tako neko, kad čuju da je neko iz njihovog zemlje ili možda iz njihovog grada ostvario tako nešto, tako da možda će ih to možda će ih to ovaj naterati na neki način da da 
<laughs> da izađe napolje, kao što si rekao, i ovaj, da uživaju u nekim drugim stvarima, a ne samo u, u toj priči da su na telefonima i da su na kompjuterima. I što se tiče sljedeće sezone, pa ne znam, ovaj, još ne, vidjet ćemo ovaj, <laughs> da li će se oporaviti. Ovaj, Šanim se, oće, oće, vratit će se, vratit će se sljedeće sezone, tako da će biti mnogo jači kao ekipa gdje će igrati neki, na primjer Monte Mori će igrati na njegovoj prirodnoj poziciji, koja je to, taj drugi playmaker na koje se jako dobro snalazi, tako da to, imat ćemo uh, opasno, opasno dva šutera nam se vraćaju i, i Jamal kao košgater, tako da ovaj, nadamo se, nadamo se bolje sezone sigurno nego ovaj. Congratulations, sir. Um, you, you, as we mentioned at the top, or as was mentioned at the top, you've you've joined a list of very elite players how, to win back-to-back MVPs. How do you compare yourself to, or what do you think of being on the same list with Will Chamberlain and Michael Jordan and Larry Bird and whatnot? I mean, it's uh, I can compare myself to, to those guys. You know, they. They did a lot, and they 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 really. I mean, they're one. Like if you if you say they, those names anywhere in the world, they will they will know them. You know, so um, they did everything for the sports. They 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 were amazing. They they won a lot of championships. So I don't know. Uh, can I compare myself with them? Uh, but uh, to just to be my name to be there, I think it's really cool. You know, just uh, one day someone's gonna say my name. With those group, with, with those group of guys. We'll go back to Mike Singer. Nicola, I know you you weren't excited uh, about the notoriety and the attention. How do you feel about now being a back-to-back MVP and having to answer even more questions uh, about your star now? Well, you guys have seven and a half minutes more, so I'm gonna survive. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I mean, it, uh, it's part of the it's, it's part of the part of the sport, part of the job, part of the, what we are doing. So, you know, I'm, I think I'm going to survive somehow. If I don't, there is some beer and some music, so they're going to help me. Graham, Associated Press. Hey, hey, Nicole, you, you were saying the uh, the other day that you. Uh, couldn't find your last MVP trophy. I was wondering, did you find that? And no, is this did. one staying in yeah, yeah. Serbia? I I found I didn't I couldn't find it because we were moving, so that's why it, it wasn't my fault. It was Natalia's fault. Uh, the, the real one. Yeah, so I like the the real one. The ball is kind of, uh, but the real one is kind of cool. So I know I know where I know where my last one is and I know where this one is that I the ball that I get. It's kind of heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Scott Hastings at Altitude TV. Hey Nicola, you're a leader of the Denver Nuggets, and as they mentioned back to back now, the MVPs, do you consider yourself one of the leaders, uh one of the ambassadors, if you will, of the NBA in, in its entirety? Do, do, do you see myself as a leader in NBA? Yeah, what? not just with the Denver Nuggets, but with, but with the whole league. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I think there is a there there is a lot of a lot of great players that play that I cannot consider myself one of the one of the league leaders. So there is a lot of a lot of good players in the league right now. Hey, Nicola, uh, for the first time in history, uh, the first three players in the MVP trophy are international players. And there's one more, Luka Doncic, who finished fifth. Um, obviously, this says a lot about the globalization of the game. And I'm curious about how playing in the NBA became real for you. When did you start dreaming about that? And when did you start thinking it was a possibility instead of a, a dream? I mean, uh, probably my second year when I 
then I kind of relax. And when I figured out, okay, I came here, so I'm going to be here because of my first year, I was in, uh, let's say panic. I was like, didn't, I was doing everything hundred percent. I was like running around like a fly without a lot, without a head, you know? And then actually in my first year, uh, they, they just told me like, just take a day off. They took me over to breakfast and, uh, not breakfast, practice. Um, and I was, I came home. And I told, I told, I think my brothers, like they kicked me out to the breakfast, the breakfast, a practice. I was like, is this normal or what's, what I should supposed to do? So I didn't know how to act, but, uh, uh, my, I think my second year is when I, when I calmed down when, and I was figured out, okay, I'm an MBA and, uh, I can do this. Mike Singer. And Nicola, um, we know about uh, how much Ogi and Felipe have influenced you, but we don't really know about the guys fr from your hometown. Um, how much influence have, has your godfather had and, and, and people around you who, again, we don't know? I mean, there is a lot of, a lot of, actually there isn't a lot of, but there is my, my godfather, my, a couple of my friends my, my, that I'm doing horse with, uh, horse hobby that affect my life, let's say, not for particularly basketball, but, you know, I, um, let's say four years ago or five years ago, I kind of figured out the, the, the system, the, the, the system that I'm doing in off season. So I'm, I don't need my, that much help, if that makes any sense, you know, I don't need uh, something crazy, you know, I just need Felipe to send me the workouts and, uh, I just need two guys to rebound for me, and uh, that's that's about it. No. Nemanja Mando. Ciao Nikola, pre svega čestitke na ogromnom uspehu i svemu što si uradio. Vem je pitit to su velike stvari. Pre svega priča se dosta o tome, o titulu, o napadu na titulu, koliko možeš to sa Denverom i da li možeš. Pa me zanima, da li razmišljaš u tom smislu da ukoliko ne osvojiš titulu, da možda pređeš negde dug, dug, da odeš ili ostaješ veran Denveru bez obzira na pitanje o tituli? I drugo pitanje, da li si možda razgovarao sa selektorom Pešićem koji ćeš li biti ideo Evropskog prvenstva? Hvala. Pričao sam sa selektorom Pešićem, tako da imamo neki plan, pa sad ćemo vidjeti da li će to tako da bude. Ne znam, vidjet ćemo još šta će se sve izrašavati, tako da Ovaj, mislim da ovaj, ne mogu još da dam odgovor, tako da sad čekat ćemo još povodom tog, ovaj, tog, tog pitanja. A što se tiče sledeće sezone, o, nadam, se da, nadam se da ćemo biti bolji nego ove sezone, a i zadnjih šest ili pet godina ti pucali bolje, a to možda godine nismo zato što imali smo dosta povrede, ne samo ta dvojica igrača, da kažem, koja su najzvučnija. Imali smo i PJ Dozijera koji je bio povredjen i Vlatka koji se je povredio u nekom momentu. Tako da nadam se da ćemo imati šanse da napadnemo titulu, ali ne razmišljam o nekom odlasku iz Denvera dok me ne oteraju. Mark Kisler, Denver Post. I know from my own experience that being a father can be a lot of work, um, but you had a, obviously had a great season. Did becoming a father in any way, shape, or form make you a better basketball player or help make you a better basketball player? Mm, I don't think so. It just, uh, my daughter just showed me that basketball isn't the most important thing, and, and, you know, so... There is basketball is just a sport and uh, basically basically a job that we are doing, you know. So mm, maybe maybe my daughter made me a better person, but I don't think so. Better basketball player. All right, Nicole, I think we have time for one more here. We'll end with a nap. Pandian, the sporting news. Hey, Nicola. Uh, you know when you are drafted, ESPN showed the Taco Bell commercial. Now you're a two-time MVP. Looking back, how amusing is that to you? And, you know, how far have you come since then? I mean, hopefully uh, I'm going to have some percentage, Nick, from the Taco Bell. Huh? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, uh, 
of course it's a long it's a long it's a long uh, it's a long way i mean i was sleeping when they drafted me so um for me for me it's like i didn't even think about coming so and now from playing in europe to come here uh, it's i think it's really really a nice journey and hopefully it's not, it's not going to stop Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. Nicola, congratulations. Russell, thank you again for joining us for this virtual press conference. This concludes the press conference for today. Have a good day. It was my pleasure, Nicola, with you guys. <laughs>